Hi, my name is Liddy Clark, and you're watching The Bubble. I fell fast, forgetting everything I knew. Forgot the crash, the burn, and only saw you. I thought love, thought hope, thought fantasy. To realize now that you never needed me. It never was what I lost in your trance. Wish I knew that I didn't stand a chance. Now yeah, when I failed, I lost everything. Heart in my head and my soul I couldn't tell It was only a dream Didn't mean it Oh man, uh, I started singing when I was about seven years old. I had just moved from Texas to Florida and my grandma found out that she was doing this genealogy project and she found out that we were like very distantly related to Pocahontas and that was like so cool for me because I was seven years old and completely in love with every Disney movie that was ever made and so I decided for my new school's talent show I was gonna sing Colors of the Wind in tribute to my great 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 grandma and then I did and I ended up, you know, not, you know, being off pitch and like sort of resembling the melody and I asked my parents if I could start doing vocal lessons and doing musical theater. I did do musical theater for quite some time. I played Annie like three times <laughs> and then when I was 13 I got my first guitar and I started learning how to write songs and it's all just kind of snowballed into what it is now. Well, we actually just released a song called Hit and Run. It's the second version of that we've released this year. We actually released an earlier version, but um, I recently started working with a new producer and we're putting together an album project right now. And so I wanted to put out this track again just to kind of resemble, it's really more of a transition track to go into the new music that we're going to be putting out next year. And I'm really excited. It's kind of a very different sound than what I put out before and I can't wait to introduce y'all to the new music. So why the change? Was it a conscious change? Did you feel like you needed it? Did it manifest? Was a new product producer involved with that too? Like why? Because sometimes you're like, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But you made a concert effort to change a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I felt like my music has shifted a little bit just within the past two or three years anyways after, you know, going out to college and living on the West Coast for a little bit. And so it wasn't really a conscious change. Uh, we had met up with the new producer, Mark, and I wanted to try out a new song with him. I wanted to see, you know, what it would be like to work with a different producer than someone I've worked with in the past. And it just, it worked out really well. I really love how that song turned out. And so we actually did hit and run after that. And it's all just turned out really well. I'm actually gonna be in the studio with him this week to record five more songs. So, so do, you, do you write a lot of your music? I write all of my music, yeah. So when, when doing so, are you more of a lyric person first or a melody person first? Ooh, it depends on the song, definitely. Um, usually I'll have like at least some kind of lyric in my head. I think the lyric is, naturally what I think of first but sometimes I'll just get like a little melody line in my head and I have to you know match up my notes to my audio recordings and it's kind of just that little game. Now listening to your music it seems like it has some stories that are probably close to you some of them are true or most of them are true or all of them? All of them? All of them are true in one way or another whether or not it's true to myself or not I mean I definitely have taken inspiration from like some of my friends stories and like things I see on the news or the internet or TV and just kind of finding my own truth in that and then exposing it through songwriting. I know I have one song I want to release as a single first before we release an EP or an album I think we're probably gonna do an EP first, but just kind of have the whole album project ready so we can make it very cohesive and make sense. I don't know yet though. I'm, I'm really excited. I have an idea for a music video for the next song, so I, I really wanna start working on that soon. You know, I'm the only person who really knows like exactly what I would do in each situation and like kind of my internal brand and being able to express that to other people is very important to me. And so being able to be hands-on in everything that I do, even with like great help from other people who are on the team, it's just, it's really important for me to be able to control all of the things that are happening. Well, you can follow me on the social interwebs at Liddy Clark, L-I-D-D-Y-C-L-A-R-K, on, you know, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. I mean, it's just everywhere now, so, <laughs> yeah. Hi, my name is Liddy Clark, and you've just been buzzed. Oh, yeah.